Right. Oh yeah, uh, Series 9, Episode 2. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, PP3D smashing the cherub into the wall. That was fucking wicked, wasn't it? Um, yeah. See you next time. Yeah, well, I'll do a review. 300 mile three day transition. So, episode two, what do we think? Right, uh, firstly, I was really pleased to see Eruption win. Uh, they had real bad luck last time and just every single one-on-one -on -one battle just out of the arena, out of the arena, out of the arena. That was, that was great to see. Uh, I think it was Noel Sharkey who said, uh, <laughs> I think it was the great Noel Sharkey who once said, no, uh, I think he said once that it's great to see uh, a robot do exactly what it was designed to do, you know, like as in it hasn't just sort of made its way through the battle, it's done exactly what it's designed. So seeing Eruption do that and also seeing uh, PP3D undercut Draven like that, uh, I really want Draven to do well because I think they've, again, they've had quite bad luck and I'd love to see their robot, you know, do its thing. But the way it just got undercut, like, it, was, it was vicious, absolutely vicious. Um, but exactly what PP3D is designed to do, so uh, that was really good to see. I found this picture on Facebook uh, afterwards of the underside of Draven, uh, just showing the extent of the damage underneath, just, like I say, unpleasant to them. Uh, also PP3D, um, I'll be honest, they had probably had the big the big uh, highlights of the episode. Uh, that hit on Cherub, absolutely ferocious. The, 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 uh, the, the tension when uh, he was like, it's off the speed now, boy! Uh, that was that was really I was like oh Christ this is going to be a big hit and yeah Christ just taken off the arena wall you could see the actual panel of the wall was dented as well um, I know there's some controversy over whether they should have therefore won that fight or not um, I think there's a tendency to want the more interesting robot to win and I think it's fair to say it probably was a bit more interesting than Cherub which I uh, don't get me wrong I liked them and I liked the team the little girl was awesome she was great fun but in the sort of opening stage of the battle they did Cherub did slightly have the upper hand so you know that's what it's marked on it's fair enough they also had of course the uh, where their electrical connection came loose inside the arcing just the intensity of that I instantly knew I was like that's that's arcing inside there that's not like something just sparking around that's <laughs> that's a lot of current going at work there um, so that was quite spectacular to see as well um, it's a shame that they had like being such a powerful robot, they did have issues with their spinner just basically just ripping their robot apart, uh, their own robot. Um, so it's a shame uh, that they went out. But like I say, they gave a great performance and put on a brilliant show. So that was really good to see. Then there was the, uh, the obviously the big controversial moment of the show or like the big dramatic moment where uh, Ant from Team Behemoth stormed off. Um, uh, Okay, well, here's the replay of the footage, uh, and in the background you can see there, that's that's me, that's me and my wife. Uh, yeah, so we actually, this is the one fight of this uh, heat that we actually saw live, and yeah, admittedly, okay, I do, a, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm doing a live review, and in it I will, I will laugh at this moment, because at the time it did seem like he was just like, hmm, just annoyed. In, in context it seems like a lot more, not justified, but you know what I mean, like, I, I could see where he was coming from a lot more. He, they, the, the poor guy, he's had this robot, what, 18 years, just been upgrading it, upgrading it, always wanting to win. And to lose for like a silly mistake of like getting a bit over complacent, you know, thinking, oh, well, obviously we can beat them, we might as well experiment with a different scoop. I can see why I was frustrated. And I think people have been a bit harsh, you know, like, you know, sometimes you just need to take yourself out of a situation rather than just like say something stupid or whatever. So, yeah, that was... Like I say at the time, it was like, Ooh, my God. but no, I can see, I can see where he was coming from from that. I think Behemoth did okay in the episode, though. I think uh, I loved uh, their celebration when they beat PP3D. Uh, that they did like the reverse and then the backflip. That really, I thought that was a wicked celebration because some of them, you know, you got like the handstands and the uh, and eruption kind of just spinning around and flipping over. Um, I like the celebrations of some of the robots now. I think they're really like just good fun. Uh, once again, the episode was just uh, the the camera angles are a lot more dynamic. It's just a, it's just a very well rounded show now, really coming into its own. Uh, I'm really enjoying the announcer. He's got this uh, he's he's like evil voice. It's it's almost like a sort of weird evil French voice, especially especially at the start when he says flipper. Flipper. It's just like some evil Frenchman. I love it. Um, <laughs> that just really made me giggle. So another explosive episode, almost literally. 
uh, and uh, really enjoyed it. Sorry for a bit of a late review. I've been on holiday for the last week, didn't have any signal or anything, so couldn't really film a review. Plus, that hot tub was... Oh, I could have dissolved in that thing. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, looking forward to tomorrow for episode three. Um, and I'll try and do a quicker review on that one. Uh, yeah, keep on watching.